This is Swapnil here from ASIPM. So this video, we are going to start a new series on YouTube uh, about uh, like since every week we are having a mock. So what we thought of that there are certain number of questions that students find really difficult to solve. So this in this particular videos, I am going to solve these particular number of questions. Okay, which students found a little bit difficulty, which students were facing a little bit difficulty or they are spending too much time on this particular question. Okay, so the previous mock that we had on 18th of March, there were these three questions, one of time speed distance, another functions, and the third one was the log. Most of the students were not able to solve these three questions and I even found them uh, even spending much time, like more time than required. So to not more, not waste any more time, I'm going to start with the very first question. So there is a tunnel AB, okay, of the length of the tunnel is AB and a train approaches towards the tunnel, okay. It blows the vessels and there is a mouse inside that tunnel at the 3 by 8 distance of the tunnel, entrance of the tunnel. If the, after listening to that vessel, mouse starts running. If the mouse run towards the entrance, if the mouse run towards the entrance, the train and the mouse meet exactly at the entrance. And if the mouse from the point he has like the 3 by 8 distance starts running towards the exit, the train and the mouse meet exactly at the exit. Find the ratio of speed of the train and speed of the mouse. You will find in this question there are no values given to us and this basically uh, blocks our thought process that what value I should start writing on the paper because everything is invariable. So you can, I am going to solve it with the shorter approach only or if because if I am going to solve it with the general approach as well as shorter approach, the video is going to be too long and you may not be even interested in looking at the video for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So this is my recommendation that you try to solve this question by yourself, pause the video, start, try it with the uh, uh, variables like uh, taking the speed of the train t, speed of the mouse m and you can even check the solution in the mock as well. I have solved the question with a general approach but now I am going to teach you the concept of proportionality and on the basis of that I am going to solve the same. Okay. Before starting on the question, I, I can tell you one thing that we can write distance is equal to speed into time, right? Distance is equal to speed into time. If time is constant, let's say the time is constant. So from variation, any everyone must be having a, a concept inside their head that distance is equal to k into s. This is the constant t. I am just replacing with the k. And if I replace this constant, I can use a proportionality sign. That is distance is directly proportional to speed. When on, this is pretty obvious. When the time is same for two objects moving, like let's say there's an object A and object B, and if they are moving at the same time, but someone is having higher speed, they'll be able to travel much distance, more distance. And if someone is having less speed, they will be able to travel less distance. So what conclusions I can draw? This is the conclusion I can draw that for the same time, ratio of distance is A is to B, then the ratio of speed will also remain A is to B. Okay, this is the conclusion that I can draw for time being constant. So we are going to use this particular conclusion for this particular question that you must be already knowing about. Okay, I haven't used pen and pencil. I'm already knowing about it. That's I'm just trying to highlight to you. Okay, so let's say there is a tunnel AB. Okay, okay, there is a tunnel AB. Okay, just mind me for a minute for drawing the tunnel. Okay, there is a tunnel AB. Okay and the mouse is at the let's say the length of the tunnel so length of the tunnel this is the length a b so let's say the length of the tunnel is 8 x why did i take 8 x because i have taught this in particular ratios that whenever the concept is like the whenever the values are like 3 by 8 5 by 8 3 by 7 let's say if it was 3 by 7 then i would have taken it as 7 x since it given us 3 by 8 of the length of the tunnel i have taken as 3 by 8 8 x so let's say the mouse is at this point, mouse is at this point. So mouse is 3 by 8 of 8x, 3 by 8 of 8x will be 3x right or wrong. So from the starting of the tunnel, the length of length is, this distance is 3x and mouse is at the 3x from the entrance and the mouse is at the 5x from the exit. The mouse is at the 3x from the entrance and 5x from the exit. Now let's say there is a train approaching towards tunnel. Okay. Let's say there is a train approaching towards tunnel. 
now rather than our frame of reference having the train at this point let's say imagine the train reaches towards the entrance okay i'm going to make the train here so let's say the train reaches towards the entrance so let's say this is the entrance line bar okay and let's say the train has reached here let's say the train reaches towards the entrance so if the mouse have moved towards the entrance if he, the mouse would have moved towards the entrance he would have traveled the distance of 3x right so mouse have traveled towards the distance of towards the entrance then the distance traveled by the mouse is 3x right or wrong now imagine so mouse was at this 3 by 8th of the, the length of the tunnel so mouse moved towards the entrance so he traveled 3x distance imagine he, if he moved towards the exit if he moved towards the exit so i am going to write this 5x here if the mouse moved towards the exit he would have traveled a distance of 3 by x in this direction right 3 by x in this direction why i am taking this 3x in this direction now let's say there will be a point when mouse is at this point and the train is at the entrance the just imagine this is the same mouse having the same speed if he would have moved towards the right that is towards the entrance the distance traveled by him would be 3x if you would have moved towards the exit the same time in the same time the train reaches towards the tunnel he would have reached 3x from the point 3 by 8 from the point he was at the beginning so he has at the 3x now the now, now the train is at the entrance and the mouse is here the distance traveled by him is 2x and the distance traveled by train would be 8x in the same time the train travels from the entrance to the exit the mouse traveled 2x distance so since time is constant the distance ratio of distances will be 8x is to 2x that is 4 is to 1 so ratio of speed will be 4 is to 1 so my answer will be 4 is to 1 okay i just used a, used the concept of proportionality that i'm going to highlight again that let's imagine the mouse is at the 3x distance from the entrance and if he moves towards the entrance the train reaches towards the entrance instead if he was moving towards the left he moves towards the right now imagine train is at the entrance the mouse is running towards the exit and he is at this point and train is at the entrance in the time in the train mouse reaches towards the exit train also re reaches towards the exit and that's why they meet exactly at the exit so distance traveled by the mouse will be from this point to this point 2x and from this point train traveled 8x distance so ratio of distance is 8x is to 2x so ratio of speed will be 4 is to 1 so our answer will be 4 is to 1 thank you so much let's solve another question of log of the same one okay the same mock uh, it was in short answer question if it was not of a short answer question if it was a mcq based the first recommendation is put the value of y in the equation what from the options whatever value of y will satisfy the equation my work is done but now let's look at the question since it's a short answer based question i need to find the value of y log base 4 5 is equals to log y base being 4 log root 5 base being 6 so i know that i have to find the value of y this is the base of 6 base of 4 base of 4 and there is a root so my question may trick into you something or the other step that may you took you may take this particular value as k there are various methods numerous method but that what kind of a method that i would use in the examination would be i did try to click in the head that whenever a question like this comes since all of them are in product and equation i may cancel some logs how i can cancel some logs before starting that i would like to highlight a property of logs log a of b can be written as log c okay c or any base you want upon log c of a any base okay this is a property of logs this is one of the rules of logs you can use any base this c can have any value 10 e or anything okay any base let's say or even if you don't need to write this c you can leave this as it is you don't need to write here log c also but this is a property of log i would try to click this particular property and would like to write all of them in this same form that is the first thought that came into my head was how about i make the basis same of each of them why because something or the other will get cancelled because there is a 4 in the base 4 in the base 6 is here 5 is here that this one can be made into this is written as log 5 key power 1 by 2 okay another property that i'm going to use here is log a power m can be written as log m m into log a another property these two properties i'm going to use or rules of log identities whatever you call it 
so i am going to write this log into the same form i can write this as log 5 upon log 4 bases are same i can write the same log y upon log 4 bases of all the four are same i have made the bases same it's my choice whatever the basis i want to be okay into log root 5 which you can write here as 5 power 1 by 2 okay 5 power 1 by 2 and log 6 okay you can cancel log 4 log 4 okay you can write this one as 1 by 2 log 2 okay log y into 1 by 2 log 5 upon log 6 and is equals to log 5 interestingly log 5 log 5 gets cancelled and i can write this as 2 log 6 is equals to log y okay so log 6 is equals to i can write this as 6 square is equals to y and y is equals to 36 as simple as it can be okay hope the solution was small for you hope you were able to get the answer in two steps and i would have definitely attempted this question in the round one itself because this is a pretty simple question okay hope you were able to get the right answer so what is the value of the answer y is 36 okay thank you so much uh, one more question of functions as well we'll solve this right now on the board the last question of the video uh, that appeared in the mock one was given that f of 2 of x plus 3 plus f of 2x plus 7 is equals to 2 for x being real if f of x is equals to f of x plus k then the least value of k is so what is the immediate thought that comes into my head whenever i see a question of functions is how about i start putting some values okay so what is what is given to us is that f of 2x plus 3 okay f of 2x plus 3 plus f of 2x plus 7 is equals to 2 okay so what how about since there is one variable only dekho sabse pehli baat to isme ek hi variable hai so always whenever a question of function comes into your head start putting values always start with a simple value don't end up start putting with 1000 100 or 1 let's try to find the value of at x equals to 1 at x equals to 1 what will be the equation now f 2 into 3 that is f of 5 plus 2 into 7 that is f of 9 is equals to 2 okay something happened okay i got f5 plus f9 is equals to 2 i'll put another value okay something or the other result i'll be able to reach or not then at least i'll be able to find some pattern or something f5 plus f9 is equals to 2 f2 into 2 is 4 4 plus 3 7 f7 plus 2 into 2 4 plus 7 11 f11 is equals to 2 okay perfect for x now still there is nothing common nothing i can't form any equation or something but let's say let's try to put x equals to 3 if i put x equals to 3 this will be 2 3 the uh, 6 6 plus 3 9 okay that will be f of 9 okay f of 9 plus and again if i put 3 into the equation that will be 3 6 6 plus 7 13 and that will be f of 13 and that will also be equal to 2 okay now if i'll observe f5 plus f9 equals to 2 and f9 equals to f plus 13 equals to 2 so how about i subtract these two equations what will happen something or the other thing will happen because there are two common terms f9 and f9 and if i subtract them 2 2 will become 0 so subtracting the two equation this is equation 1 and let's say this is equation 2 so subtracting 2 from 1 or i can say anything okay let's say subtracting 2 from 1 i can say that that is f5 minus f13 is equals to 0 right or wrong i can write this f9 f9 will cancel f5 minus f13 is equals to 0 so f5 is equals to f13 okay f5 is equals to f13 okay okay this is similar to something fx is equals to f of x plus k okay uh, how about if i try to as like compare it with the other equation that is given here f x is equals to f of x plus k if i compare it with this above equation i can see that if for x equals to 5 in the above equation k is 8 k is 8 right or wrong for so, x 5 plus 8 13 so what my at least my value that i am getting right now is k equals to 8 i can try to check or verify is that the only least value of k i can get okay how about i assume the next value as well that is i can even put x equals to 4 if i'll put x equals to 4 the above equation becomes as uh, 3 4 to the 8 plus e ho jayega f 11 plus e ho jayega 8 plus 7 that is right 4 to the 8 8 plus 7 that is 15 f 15 and that is also 2 you'll observe you'll observe these two equations again have the common terms f11 f11 so i can even subtract these two 
I can even subtract these two. What will I get? That is f11. F11, f11 will cancel, and f2 minus 2 will be zero. So f7 will be equal to f15. F7 is equal to f15. Now you can again compare it to the above equation. That is f of x is equal to f of x plus k. If for x equals to seven, my k is still coming as eight. So at least after doing this much amount of work, I'll be putting the answer as k equals to eight because that's the only possible value I'm getting. I wouldn't bother about the least value of k is or what. Okay, so I got the answer as k. But is that the general approach or is that the favorable approach in our head? Yeah, this may sound good. This may be like okay, I did this in the examination. I got k equals to eight, and this is the right answer as well. But this is not the actual proof of this question. Okay, the actual proof comes out to be like this. Since this it is written here x plus two x plus three, we can see it is written here two x plus three, and the other part is written here as two x plus seven. Okay, so if I suppose this value as y, okay, if I put this value as y, why I'm doing this so that my functions could look a little smaller. I can write this one as y plus four. Y plus four exactly. This can be written as y plus four. Two x plus three plus four will be two x plus seven. So what is given to us is f of y. हम क्या दिया हुआ है? f of y plus f of y plus four is equals to two. Okay. So this is a function based uh, independent on y. So if I change the value of y, y also changes. That is y plus four. Okay. This will be equals to y plus eight. I have put y equals to y plus four. So this become y plus eight. Okay. Is equals to two. If I subtract the both of them, if I subtract one from the two, I will get f of y plus f of y plus four minus f of y plus four and minus f of y plus eight is equals to two minus two that is zero. Okay, f of y plus four y plus four cancelled. f of y is equals to f of y plus eight. Now, now you will find this is similar to this one. And since these two are variables, one is represented in terms of y, another is represented in terms of x. So this doesn't change as our value. Don't end up thinking that, कि सर हमने 2x plus 3 तो y को एक वैल्यू तो 2x plus 3 डाली थी, तो उसमें तो दिक्कत आनी चाहिए ना? But this is a function. Function dependent on a variable. This is the same function dependent on a variable. So I, I can equate this directly to the particular equation, and I'm getting k equals to 8. I'm getting k equals to 8. So sometimes you have to assume some values and try to reach some conclusion, and this is the general approach that one can follow in the question like this one. Okay, so I hope you got k equals to eight. Thank you so much. If you like the video or like what kind of concepts I'm teaching, you can even check our website to purchase the whole course. And I would also like to highlight that IPM 22 batch has also started. In the second week of April, we are going to start with 22 aspirants. This is a course, whole year course. There are going to be lot of things. We are going to revise the course at least twice. Make you attempt the number of mocks more than 30. Make sure that you are at the level that is required to clear the paper. Thank you so much. If you like the video, do like it and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.